series uh, time. And, and before I left the house, uh, Casey Waters said to me, he says, oh, the, oh there's a, there's a, you, ha you have to submit, uh, uh, you know, what is it, um, it's paperwork, what's it called? Well, uh, application. application, yeah. And he says there's an application fee. Do you know anything about that? No, I didn't. Okay, well, supposedly there's an application fee. Well, if Jonathan would know, is he out there? I don't know. Well, we'll have to check with him. No, there's no there's no fee on submitting for a season. Is that right? No. Uh -uh. Okay. And the only so, fee I paid was and, and for the contract. And you know me. about that? Huh? Yeah, because I just submitted my contract. For, you, you paid for, for the, the contract? Season. Yeah, I, it's 25 cents a page. When you oh, okay. Print. That's the only fee I know of. Because uh, I got last year nor this year. Did, uh, as far as I know, I mean, and Kurt didn't say anything about where's your fee money. Huh? Well, guess what? If you if you started watching this at two a.m., you're you're late already. Well, you never know with the t with time, the clocks, things. You know. Yeah, this clock's thirty one, seconds fast. One never, last time. One never really Somewhere in the world, this is really the four twenty roll. Difference. Whether it be 4.20 a.m. or 4.20 p.m. This clock is, I think, 30, running 30 seconds fast. Right. So somewhere, we're going to go over there. I'm going to let Tom say here figure it out. Now, you know what we need? We need a world clock up there now. We, we no longer need a local time. You're watching the 420 roll. Good morning. Welcome to the Pleasure Saucer.
lockdown I broke out to make that revolutionary sound Now for all you scumbags and goons To grind to the ride to For those laying low Make sure those jakes don't find you Being locked up in a place that you want to be But if your road leads to prison Then keep your mind free Even if you're behind bars Freedom comes from your mind You can be under the stars And still feel behind a cage Life is a maze, only the strong find the end I'm traveling through this labyrinth with a pad and a pen My crew ain't slaves, we snapped the necks of our masters No doubt we're flipping it like 22 chapters Cause it ain't working, no Cause it ain't working for us Cause it ain't working, no Y-U-K on the East Tampa Bay We got them cans in the back Any time we need a spray Got them blunts roll with them white owls And the boards and the coolest They feel with at least 20 quarts The powder it goes fast Five grams at a time But with me and these dudes It's going straight to the mine Money's in our pocket all the damn time But we don't work for crap We just get it hold inside Keep our hands raised when we throwing up our set Cause we beat for Oxycontin at the Dones and Percocet We do what the heck we want, so leave us alone And if you wanna talk crap, we're banging straight to the dome Cause it ain't working, no Cause it ain't working for us Cause it ain't working, no Like Bonnie Clyde, Rod Brannix, only coward ass, wouldn't fight in military tanks. No bodies and caskets, kill bomb, but cars and their guns. They pay for the bonds by taking wealth from citizen funds. They brainwashing the youth to stand up for the pledge. Cause it's one nation under God, we're like one nation under death. There's a war that threatens our freedom, and so we need to fight it. But when they kill for family members need to riot. Gathering the with your fellow resident Call upon Saddam to assassinate the president It's irrelevant, the bullet, that's what's gonna kill him See the lies in his blood when his brain starts to spill him Cause it ain't working, no Cause it ain't working for us Watching the 420 roll. All right, but you do good. You sing loud and play loud. Yeah. They say my days are filled with things that kill, and nothing seems to be. And I'm losing hope Singing these sad songs With my voice I'll keep on every note And I don't want to go back to school And I don't want to have a job I give a damn about their money Cause what I need is what I got I got my time spent my closest friends and I love these days I hope they never end and I got my feet to wander through these streets to get to the next town I'll go a new place to rest and call my own productivities in your own eyes there is no Yeah.
before I'm more than fed up with They teach you how to live your lives And build up all their crap And the paper that they give you Represents the wealth they own The leader sleep in mansions Leave the veterans without home Yeah, basta! Enough is enough! The system isn't working for those they left out in the dust And our problems are hard to cope with They seem too far gone for change Sometimes it feels hopeless We destroyed Babylon's tower And create a foundation of love you can't have freedom with power We all need to think as one What's the recipes for? Okay, recipes would be nice. Uh, what is it? How to cook a bunt cake or I don't know. How to make a I didn't, cherry cheesecake or I didn't hear what the recipes were. <clears throat> yeah. How to southern fried chicken. I reckon. Southern fried steak. <laughs> Woo! Let's see, did that go all the way down? It did it almost. Oh, we may be going. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. We probably were. How do we know? Uh, well, we, you won't know now. No, we weren't going. Boop, boop, boop. I bet we was if the TV volume was up. No, we weren't. Trust me. <laughs> it was down far enough that we didn't boop, boop, a bit. Now, what did I do with my... Oh, there. Well, I'm going to go and leave you alone. You know what happens? If you leave me, I'm, I'm without a guess. What, what am I doing? Well, I would... People, people don't seem to be rushing in to be guests. If, if you, not anymore. If you, they don't. I mean, used to. You had, uh, man. There was times this room you couldn't even get in it because there was a line out the door. Yeah, what have you done? It's happened. It's happened. Who have you made mad? Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All my guests. Well, <laughs> there was uh, there were some people that came Friday who wanted to be on, and they. No, no, there were some people who came. Well, there were some people who came Friday and wanted to be on, but then they there wasn't no show for them to be on, right? Uh, but then um, there were some people who came when I was at my mother's funeral, and they were going to be on, and they and they came walking in and they walked past the monitor in the out in the hallway there and they looked up they saw the show was on and they came back here, and there was nobody in Studio B, and they went back up and they looked at the monitor, and they saw the show was on and they came back to Studio B, <laughs> and they looked in again just to be sure. <laughs> And there was nobody in here. Maybe they just figured it was a... And uh, you taking down everything and stored it in that back room real quick. Yeah, it was a trick, wasn't it? Everybody went in the back room. It was a trick. So there it was. It was... We just tricked them. So that, so anyway, that was... Uh, uh, Ian and Ian's <clears throat> father were, were two people that I know that came to, to be on the show while I, while I was off down on the island mm -hmm. to my mother's funeral. And uh, yeah, I hated to hear that, too. And then... Uh, I'm, I'm, and I'll be honest with you, I'm, 
I'm still upset. You know what I mean? And and my life's just kind of just fragmented. It's hard to deal with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, ju it just is. I can imagine so. I mean, yeah. losing a parent. I haven't lost one yet. But uh -huh. my wife, you know, lost her dad four years ago, and uh -huh. Did it leave her upset for quite a while. Quite a while. Yeah. But still, uh -huh. you still. Uh, right. There's still times. Right. That I'll look over and she's crying, and right. I say why, and she says I just I miss him. Right. And that's been four years now, you know. So, mm -hmm. what do you do? You know, I mean. Mm -hmm. That's just going to be that one. Right. Well, I guess most of us expect to. I guess the expectation is is that you're not going to lose your parents until you're in your 70s yourself. Well, and uh, well, that's, not that's not necessarily true. At all. And here my wife was, you know, she had <clears throat> both of her parents, uh, you know, they had her late in life. Yeah. So therefore, you know, her mom's now 70 and Tina's only 37. So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, so that left her when her dad was, you know, 77. At, and and four years ago, of course, you know she was what thirty three, I guess thirty seven yeah. minus four, thirty yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you know how do you cope with when you're thirty three years old and you're expecting? Well, of course she couldn't expect that because she knew her parents were old, but yeah. she's still expecting another twenty years from him. You know, I mean, you always hopes it, you know. you're always expecting <clears throat> yeah. another twenty years. I'm going to tell um, you, you're always expecting, yeah. or yeah. at least hoping for, at yeah. least another twenty years. And after that twenty years is another up, one. you're you're yeah. you're you're hoping for another twenty. That's but what made it so rough was is that uh, her parents lived beside us, and. Um, and saw him every day. So, yeah, well, she saw him every day. Uh -huh. And then uh, she was in the house washing some figurines, you know, just cleaning. Right. And her cousin was down there visiting them, and she and her cousin just came running next door and said, your dad's dead. Wow. And she just dropped what she had. And it was there was about $300 figurines busted all over. There was no expecting it or anything. Nothing. And she Heart just attack. went running down there, and there he lay, just sitting there, just, just looking out and open. So I pull him out on the floor, move the thing, and do CPR on him. And uh -huh. waited on the ambulance to get there, you know. So she's standing there watching all this happening. Yeah. It wasn't like he died in a car wreck or he was in the hospital or he had uh -huh. cancer. It was just he. She had just got through talking to him outside, uh -huh. and he said, "Well, I'm gonna go in and watch some TV." And she says, "I'm gonna go in and clean some of my figurines." Uh, and five minutes later, he's, she's yeah. being told he's dead. It was almost that way with my mother. She so. came. Out, she <clears throat> she went in to to teach her Sunday school class, and she came out and she said she didn't feel good, and. Uh, and they called nine one one, and an hour later they pronounced her dead. You know, so it's just yeah. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know that you ever get over that. You right. know, I still talk to my dad, and he lost his parents years ago. Yeah, and, and he's still. But I. Well, listen. Know, let me have enough. let me have some of that tea out of the green pot. Okay. Fortunately enough, I hadn't lost a parent time. yet, but I mean, I know one day it's coming, unless I die first, but. Um, okay, now, like well, you're well, take well, it all. let me have some of the uh, the, the the sea urchin tea there, the tea urchins. Somebody, did you name them that? Somebody named no, it tea urchins, not. like sea urchins. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Thank you. I did. Thank not. you. Thank you. All right. Well, so I know, I, but I just try to keep myself busy with stuff. You know what I mean? And, so, and think about my other stuff. Think about you know doing Asheville uh, TV dot net. Well, it's kind of tough because mm. you've got you've got your mother's death on you. Yeah. And then you're normally crazy anyway. Truly. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I'm crazy because I'm crazy too. I mean I know we, that we we're sort of the same that, medicines. But I know we have that in common. And so they I'm not saying that, but, the same medicines. Well, I'm not saying that as a, as a disrespectful thing to you. I'm just saying right. that you normally got things going through your head anyway. And now right. to add to that, your mother's death. Yeah. And so for just anybody to come in here and 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 just start throwing things at you would just be detrimental, I'm sure. Or, yeah. or just anywhere, Whatever. just somebody start throwing stuff at you, and I, I can understand. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Yeah. So yeah, but it's just I don't know. It's just the thing. It's just, I just get I, I just get sad, and it's just, yeah. just like your wife. I, you know, yeah, you get you get sad at times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She does around Christmas time, and of course, his birthday and mm -hmm. Thanksgiving and stuff like that. You know? I've not been very, <clears throat> I've not been very much for 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 you know uh, respecting specific days like holidays or stuff like that. Or oh, cables. Is that just here, or is that going out? What do you mean? It's just it goes all the fuzzy. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just here because I don't ever know. Yeah, it. yeah. I, I think it's like home. somebody has keyed white, their CB. I think it's that white cable. I, I always blame it on that, but but I noticed. Yeah, I think it is. I, I think, think it's it the is. white. That's cable. one of the cheapest cables you can buy. It is. It is. And, it, uh, it, it it comes from. It come, I won't say the name of the store, but it it. <laughs> 
from a radio store? No, not no. either. Uh-uh, okay. uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This came from... Well, I'll just say it came from big lots, and, oh. it, it's, and, it, and it's just and you, if when you feel when you feel it, it feels like it's made out of foam plastic or something. Yeah. It's it's the cheapest cable you can get. It's just tremendously cheap. That's probably why it's doing it too. But right. but, uh, but it was long enough to make that run, and I had one. Yeah. You know. Now, how about your dad? Is he still alive, or is he? Well, my stepfather's still alive. My father's not. My father died. Okay. And uh, and I actually went in and found him. When he was dead, which that wow. was that was a traumatic thing too yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh, my stepfather is, uh, and I say stepfather, uh, but anyway, I mean le- legally he is my father because my mother and father were actually divorced and then she remarried and and he legally adopted me so we'd have the same name, et cetera, et cetera. You know. Okay. So, um, so Blackwell is is actually an your, adopted name. Is your stepfather or father? Yeah. Actually, he would be your father. Yeah, yeah. My legal father, so. <clears throat> legal guardian, or whatever you want to call it. Legal father, yeah. So, and uh, he, yes, he's still alive, and uh, taking it pretty hard, I'd imagine. Yeah, I imagine he is, and he's down on the island, and I think things are probably pretty hard for him. He's in the house alone now. Do you have uh, brothers and sisters? None. None. No. So, uh, no. I have a cousin that lives down there close, and and they're kind of. Is he or she keeping him? company mm, to a large degree yeah. but not e- not all day every day you know right, what I mean right. you know so uh, well they live a few a few miles away you know you, uh, they live on the mainland so you've got to go over the bridge and it, that, the bridge, they live in Riceville Beach or something no it's it's uh, they live in uh, Cape uh, Cod or? no <laughs> it's on an island but it's it's, it's called Pineal Shores oh, the place okay. yeah. that my parents lived was Pineal Shores and so you have to, uh, but you, but it's a, it's always a breaking point uh, if whether you got to go over the bridge or not. It used to be more so, and in, in the fifties it was a drawbridge, and if a boat was coming through or something like that, and if it was a, during a busy time of day, traffic could back up for miles while the bridge was open and stuff like that. And and so that, I don't know if that's just the mindset left over from that time or not, but it's like. If you have to go over the bridge, that's like a huge barrier. Well, it's not even a drawbridge anymore. It's, it was four lane and it runs all the time. <laughs> but it, it's like if you got to go over the bridge, like if you got four or five things to do on the mainland, will you save them all up to go over the bridge? You know, because <laughs> you may get stuck. <laughs> it, well, it, it, it's driving. You know. So now they've just got this big, huge. Yeah, one of those. It goes way up. In the sure end. enough. Yeah. Uphill both ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I appreciate you hanging out with me because, you know, otherwise I'd have to just be here and do a rant by myself. No, I, we don't I, want to do a rant. I might say anything. I don't know if I was very congruent with what I, <laughs> with what I was trying to say earlier, but I was trying to get, I was trying to get it pinned down, you know, and, and, I, and I wanted to make it very clear that if you want to see URTV streaming, that you go to URTV.org for that event and you'll see URTV streaming. And if you want to see, um, if you want to see Randy and I just getting into all kinds of mayhem, then you go to AshevilleTV.net. Okay, now that's URTV.org for URTV and AshevilleTV.net for the two crazy brothers, right? And just in <laughs> case anybody had any questions, they're not associated. Mm-mm. I don't know why you would think that, uh-huh. but they're not. Mm-hmm. But you said there was something written in the paper. <laughs> So well, we don't know where that we came don't from. know where that came from, but yeah. uh, you have to take that up with the paper. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have to do a trace and see who said because I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know. Speaking of which, have you seen? <laughs> we talked to Richard since he's I mean, been back uh, in town. Have you got to talk to him yet to get some of your shows? Uh, I haven't talked to him. Usually, when he gets back in town, he's got a lot to do paper-wise. Okay. So I always give him. Uh, I've talked to him in the morning, probably. Okay. Well, Richard might be. He might be watching. Uh, he may be. So if you're if you're watching, give give uh, Randini a buzz and and uh, and maybe uh, pass along some of the DVDs. Because yeah, I haven't even. Uh, he don't even. I have know one. Know what Asheville TV is doing. Right. I have one. I, ha- I while I was going through my stuff, I found one of your old shows. Well, it was okay. it was on a DVD that was it was recorded off the air. So there's like three different shows on there. But you, but yours and Richards is one, and the back, and the background is black. It's a black background. That's that black curtain we had up. Uh huh. Do you remember that? Yeah. So it was probably only one show that had that on it. I'm not uh, sure. Don't know. They might have been two. There might have been two. But it was 
we started that show pretty close to when we mm-hmm. put that blue curtain up. I like that black curtain. Uh, I did too. Mm-hmm. And then we put the blue curtain up, and then we painted the wall blue. Right. But now it's been interesting to me to to see on AshevilleTV.net your old tea party. Progr- that's why I put them. In, I like that so you'd see it would be so I was different. Stuck last night. My my wife was saying, "Why aren't you in here watching the real TV?" And I said, "I am watching the real TV. I'm watching AshevilleTV.net. <laughs> it's a real channel." <laughs> it's, it's an internet channel, but it's a real channel, you know? And she said, well, what are you watching? And I said, well, I'm watching old tea, old tea parties because now they make sense to me. Back when I first seen them, <laughs> for a long time, they didn't make sense to me. I didn't know heads or tails. I didn't know what to make of it. Uh-huh. Until I finally got the nerve to come up here and say, just what in the world you freaks were doing? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I became one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting to see them back. I mean, this was back when... We had a white wall. It was just a, it was a white wall, and there was just a table there with mm-hmm. no nothing. I mean, we were still using one of your little plug uh, amplifiers to plug. I got it. I've got the bag. I still bring it. I still bring everything I need. To, I can do a show. If you want TV wants to take every piece of equipment on out of here, they can do it. I've brought everything with me I need to do it's to do to do a show, and I always do. Yeah. Always so do. that was back when the camera was. We still used that room and pushed mm-hmm. the camera way back in it and mm-hmm. uh, got the wide angle lens and. Yeah. I don't even know if we had a wide angle lens then. Actually, no. it was just a regular regular lens. And, That's right. And uh, I enjoyed the Blue People episode. I enjoyed hearing about uh, Jonathan and his uh, adventures when he was a teenager. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if right. you're listening, Jonathan, uh-huh. I don't know if they are or not. It's not like you're talking out there. That's uh, right. But um, yeah, I mean that was back in the day. <laughs> it's not been that long. That's two years ago. <laughs> Is it two full? It's not two full years. And it's a year and some. No, you are TV started up in. Uh, I know, but August. I didn't start doing the, the, the for the first. Oh, okay. Uh, for okay. the first at least six months, or no more than that. Well, for I a long time, so. I did Anarchy TV. Well, I'm pretty sure that the Tea Party was on uh, sometime in '06. But you no, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think so because we have we have the uh, it had we, ha- we have the dates on all those discs. I, well, I joined in January. You can, you can just look at the you, you know you can you if you go to the to AshevilleTV.net and if you look at the TV screen and you're watching it if you click on it then if you click on the little button over on the right, it'll open up the menu, and on the menu it'll also tell you the date that the TV show was originally right. recorded. And when you look at that day, they're all 07s, aren't they? I think they started in 07. See, I, but I joined in January of 07, and I was almost positive that I was already watching them before Tea parties. I joined. Well, maybe. I'll have maybe to look. it was after I joined. Because no, because you had seen the interview on the toilet. Uh, that's right. You're right. And that what one, happened was I joined, and mm-hmm. then for like three months, I just totally stayed away from the RTV. Here's what it is. I, I, I found... I was intimidated. I found it. all the episodes. I think I found all the episodes for Anarchy TV up through 11. But 12 and 13 are missing. Hmm. That's all that awfully strange. I mean, because I've always tried to keep up with, you know, keep them and keep up with them. And that I, the fact that I can't find two, I'm just like, whew. I came in here and joined, like on the 12th of January of 07, mm-hmm. and I was so freaked out by the people that was in the studio, or in the in this area, when I came in and joined, that it actually it scared, scared you. me off. It did. And I, sa- and and I say these? that now as a funny, but then it wasn't funny. It was just all kinds of, uh, I don't, see, I don't want to call people freaks, but it was people that okay, are so. unlike me. Uh-huh. Right, but you, but you're more tolerant of them now. I am. Well, and, I and, always and, have been, and, but the, just, and most of them have me. gone away, though. Well, and that's the thing, and, and I've always been tolerant of people like that. But, but I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. even want to call it tolerant because people are people. Well, but you're not but scared it, of them. It anymore. scared me because I thought to myself, perhaps this is not the right place for me to be. Perhaps they're not going to like what I want to bring to this. Well, see, that's the point. The of, that's the point of it, though, is this is a place for anybody to be, for everybody right. to be. But I didn't understand that. Uh-huh. So for like three months, I just told totally, this, this isn't the country I, I club. I told my wife, I said that because at that time it was only twenty five bucks. I said that was just a waste of twenty five dollars. This is this is not the country club, um, and this is not the Baptist church. Right. This this is this is not this is not it, this is this is not an organization that. That that caters to a particular kind of people. This this and it, it, you know if you're if you're if you live in Buncombe County, 
<laughs> that's all there is to it. And there's a lot of crazy right. people living in Buncombe County. Well, the, the, the plain and simple fact is, is that I just felt like that I wouldn't fit in. Uh -huh. I just felt like I wouldn't fit in, and uh, if you've noticed, it wasn't just that I, I was getting my way. I fidget with everything. Yeah. I I, I shake my. I know my how many shake. times have you moved that? My yeah. legs shake. I'm just it's it's uh, it's. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna build a little motor. That's why I'm on medication. I'm gonna put, build a little motor in this, but the, the one that's on yours. And every time you sit it back like that, I'm gonna put a little motor in it. It goes. It's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I shake my legs. I know. I'm all time messing with something. You've caught me doing the same uh, thing. So. I, it's the it's. I think I need to up my dose of medication. Uh, but anyway, get back. No, to what I don't think about. so. Um, Which one? Which medication? Uh, my Lexapro. I don't I think, think I so. To, uh, well, I don't know. Is that what? Okay, you. I'm doing, not getting anxiety attacks, but I, I'm noticing that here lately. I'm starting to. Uh, mm -hmm. Mess with, I'm starting to do my old things again. My, my uh -huh. grunting's coming back, <clears throat> doing that all the time. Uh -huh. um, so I don't know. But anyway. Well, maybe it's because you got a little <coughs> frog in your throat. Mm, typically, it's just ticks from Is it? anxiety. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. But uh, that's all that. this is. It's just I do that releasing too, energy and anxiety is all it is. Oh, that's I know that. You messing saw, with stuff. You, that's you, all you, you were sitting there doing that the other day, and you looked over, and I was doing it too, just as long, <laughs> both of us were going hard as we could go. But and, uh, I didn't even notice it, and you noticed it, and you pointed it out. <laughs> yeah. But that's something that I've been doing a long time, you know. So. But um, I don't even remember what we were talking about now. You're talking about ticks and Lexapro. Oh, no, uh, the other stuff we were talking about. What was it right before then? <laughs> oh, I was going. I was saying that being freaked, you scared yeah, the freaks. It wasn't really then. I was scary. Uh, no, scary no, you can't people. Say that because scary I, I people. wasn't. I don't call them freaks, and I wasn't afraid of them. I just felt like that. I thought, man, I won't fit in here. Mm -hmm. So I steered clear for about three months. But I was still watching the channel, uh -huh. and I noticed this tea party thing, and I thought, man, you know, what are those weirdos doing? You know, and and uh, kind of like you did Makes when you, you wonder, me on ZDTV, me? and you said, what's that hillbilly? Uh, Asheville doing. <laughs> I, know. So, I, I really think that I really think that happened. I it really probably did. I really think that happened. And, but and uh, if it didn't, it's a wonder. <laughs> because I used to watch it, and I and I can remember. Uh, if it, you watched it any at all, you seen me. Yeah, because well, I was no, on there I used constantly. To watch, they used to be some of our favorite. They even stuff. played. They even played video of me playing the piano, uh, old Anxiety on New Year's, Year's Eve. The whole night, every time there was a commercial break, there was me playing old anxiety on the piano. Oh, they would just go back to that. They got that when you were when you were on the air, and then the, and they kept going they just back. Kept to it. going back to. I it. seem to remember <laughs> that stuff. I swear, it's been a long time, but I seem to remember that. But they I, got me doing magic. I uh, like I did a thing uh, where I was holding a coke can and a, mm -hmm. and a, and a cup. Mm -hmm. And then I, you start pouring. I let go of the cup, and the cup's just levitating in the air as, as mm -hmm. the coke's pouring to it. And then I and then I fill the cup up, and I take it away, and I. And I drink a sip out and say, mmm, you're watching ZDTV. It's delicious. Or right. <laughs> something like that. And then, well, how come uh, you don't do that on the tea party? And then uh, they got me making a, a, a cat appear out of thin air. And uh, I, I, what I did was I was standing there and it was just showing an empty place. And I said, do you ever feel like something's missing? And I said, what? And I, and I do this right here and the cat's there. And it wasn't, ma it wasn't trick camera. It was actual magic. Actual magic, yeah, yeah. Actual magic. But, I mean, well, it, if you got a magic was, cat, what I'm saying was it wasn't trick camery. I understand. That was doing it. I was this using a magic, a magic illusion. Cat, yeah, yeah, I was move, using a magic illusion. I understand. You know, a gimmick. And yeah. so then the cat's there, and I say, well, you know, uh, something about just watch ZDTV and you'll be filled up, or something like that. I don't mm -hmm. know, but anyway, I did all kinds of crazy things. And then I did. Uh, uh, I was and live you were, on the you air. You were calling for help. You were calling for help on the air every for, day. Uh, no, I wasn't calling for help. I was. Uh, Leo and I became good friends. Okay. And um, what does Leo do now? Leo runs a radio broadcast on the internet about uh, tech still stuff. Still tech stuff. Okay. Still tech stuff. Uh -huh. And he also is still a contributor writer in mm -hmm. the uh, Ziff Davis magazine. Uh -huh. See, I used to watch that, uh -huh. and I'll tell you something that happened. I, I mean, because we thought that was the greatest thing. Me and my friend was John John Six that used to watch it. He he writes you know programs that keep the internet right. running and and. Um, and we used to watch that. He's the one who turned me on to it. He says, "You, you know, watch this, you know." And so, so I started watching it. And uh, and then after a while, something happened, and I started noticing that 
They talked about games a lot. There was more. It, th- yeah, it changed. To, it changed. It changed to tech TV. Uh huh. And they kept the same shows, but they just rearranged them. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden, they changed it to G four. Uh huh. And, and it's got nothing to do with computers and internet anymore. And it just it just became anyway. They started talking about games, and I, when I would turn <clears> and, I, and about half the time they'd be talking about games, and when I'd turn it on and they talk about games, I'd turn it off, you yeah. know. And I got it finally it got so every time I turned it on. They were talk, talking about yeah. games, and that seemed to be all. And then it looked like they, and all they were, it was just they were reviewing games. It just turned into reviewing video games, and yeah. that was. And I was just like, you know, because I mean, if you're going to review video games, you need you need to review the big one, you know, yeah. Windows. Well, you you read the uh, you read the newspaper article that's posted on the wall in my office. I didn't. You didn't read it, but you've seen it though. It said the man, a local man, interviewed yes. on DDTV. Yes, I that was uh, News Thirteen and Asheville Citizen Times. Uh, some, and once again, I had nothing to do with this, but they uh-huh. picked up on the fact that I was on the show on the show all the time. Yeah, and they thought it'd be really cool, so they both contacted me and told me that the next time I was going to be live, that they wanted to be there. Oh, and so I contacted them, told them, I said, I'm going to be live tonight. You know, uh-huh. And you came in and, on a web camera, and, uh, didn't you? I came in on a web camera, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. And uh, it was still good quality, though. You mm-hmm. know, it was, quality was getting better at that time. And, of course, their sound, to keep the to make the stream look better, the sound was done via telephone. Uh-huh. So we did the sound via telephone. Right. So I'd wear an earpiece and a mic. And then the video was done on webcam. That way you were only... You're only broadcasting the bits that have the video in it. Right. You're not trying to broadcast the I sound. Understand. And um, well, they don't. But that's why I'm explaining. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I knew you understood. But well, uh, well, the no. little packets didn't include the audio. And when your packets don't include audio, your video stream can be TV quality. That's, we are, that's so, right. It's a, it's right. a lot less confused. Right. When, when so that's yeah. the way they did it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so here I had News 13 there, that was filming me while I was live on. Um, it wasn't a call for help. I was live on that time. It was uh, the next show. It was the news program afterwards. Uh-huh. And they had me doing a magic trick um, where I took two rubber bands and had them together, and they, they melt apart, and uh, visually melt apart. Okay. Okay. And um, so they had me doing that and then talking about some other things. But uh, there they were. The newspaper was taking pictures of me. The uh, News 13 was there filming me. Mm-hmm. And I was about as uh, nervous as a... Well, never mind, but I was nervous. As a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. There you go. <clears throat> that wasn't term. That wasn't the one I was going to use. Have you heard that before? I have heard that. Yeah. yeah. You know who used to say that was Tennessee Ernie Tennessee Ford. Tennessee Ernie Ford. You know that. Long tail cat and a room full of rocking chairs. That's right. Okay, hang on a minute. I'm good. Let me. Cousin do, Ernie. Let me do a. Let me do a, a thing here, and then I'll come back. Yeah, it's that time, isn't it? Yeah, let's see. Good morning. Welcome to the Pleasure Saucer. Always try theater and crowded fire.
how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? Welcome to Quantum Factor, the show that explores the nature of reality and the mysteries of the mind. I'm your host, Alison Hill. Tonight's special guest sparked a revolution of thought with the hit movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? Bringing quantum physics and other new and exciting concepts into our everyday lives. What the Bleep Do We Know? is the creative vision of William Arntz, a research physicist and software developer who focused his energy on producing and directing a new and unique style of cinema. Over the next half hour, we'll have an opportunity to discuss with William Arntz the ideas presented in this groundbreaking film, What the Bleep Do We Know, and his newest cinematic release. William, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Well, thanks for having me. Well, a lot of people have seen What the Bleep Do We Know, and it's a, it's a story, it's a documentary, it has excellent animation. But for those who may not have seen the um, movie, how would you explain it in a nutshell? Uh, in a nutshell? In a nutshell. Oh, man, I've been trying this for two years. I mean, it's... Okay, first... a lot of hands at Roundup, too. Out at daybreak, breakfast at the chuck wagon, and then get the horses in. Get a rope on the first pony in your string, and saddle up for the morning's work. be able to take it all day, but he'll wear out a couple of horses. Oh, oh, he must have heard me. The boys have got to hunt all the draws and canyons for the cattle and get them bunched so they can rope and brand the calves. and you'll soon be back with Mama. You don't want to be a maverick, do you? A touch of the branding iron. Here's your shot of blackleg vaccine to keep you frisky. And off you go. Full-fledged quarter circle you. Yes, sir. Here's your beefsteak starting to you from out here in the range country. Good grass and water, and a lot of work and worry. Don't you forget it, have gone to make that beef. Here they come, the range country's contribution to feeding you and our fighting men and our working men. Food for freedom. Good, lean grass beef, not fattened and finished yet into prime, but good stuff. The Army buys a lot of it just this way. The Middle West takes a lot of cattle to finish with corn and alfalfa in the feedlots. And then you've got as good beef as there is in the world, part of the meat supply that makes America strong.
steaks and roasts, short ribs, for these chaps building liberty ships. They're a long way from the range country, but our meat's helping them slam the ships together to slam the hile out of Hitler. If we can't turn out the meat fast enough to keep the army fed and our friends fed, 